Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. So, uh, in the last video, I spoke about why I like Svelte. Um, but I gave a very simple example. Uh, in this one, I'm going to cover some of the basics of uh, Svelte. And uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build interactive interfaces using Svelte. So, let's get started. Uh, let's start with a you know blank uh, page with nothing in it. Uh, I'll create a division and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna create a moon um, so I'll call this moon now if you have heard of uh, you know a CSS uh, box model you'll know that everything is a box so if I uh, give a width and height to the moon let's say 80 that should do height pixels um, and a background color of red maybe yeah you see that it's a box we can make it you know uh, make it round using border radius uh, some some percentage I mean it should be more than 50% I usually use 100% it's easy to remember and uh, now this is a moon uh, but the problem is we don't have um, you know we, we, we can only show this full moon uh, but what we want is a, a crescent moon or like you know a, a part of the moon when it is like you know uh, it's not a full moon so we can have this box shadow um, so I'll have 10 pixels and 10 pixels here 0 and 0 and uh, we have it so this dark part that you see um, that itself is a you know uh, is a moon so here what's happening is you know this is uh, how much it should go in x direction I can make it 100 pixels also that way it goes completely out of uh, you know um, the element this shadow and this is y direction I can give it 100 pixels it goes again completely out of uh, uh, <laughs> completely uh, downwards 100 pixels and then this is uh, how um, blurry it should be so I can make something like 5 pixels and it will look blur uh, but we don't want that and finally this is actually the color which can which is black uh, which can be black or um, or you, you can give any color 0 is again black or uh, you can use something uh, like a gray one but I'm gonna have black here that's it that's how a uh, box shadow works I mean if there is no border radius it will show a square shadow since we have border radius it shows uh, a circular shadow and I don't want it to uh, go so much away from it uh, in the uh, I may want it to go in the x direction but not in y direction I'll have zero here so we see this moon uh, and if we change this you know uh, deuce color to white we only see the moon so let's have red for now so uh, if we ha if we change it to or if we just remove it uh, we have a moon and we can change this to uh, gray and that's it that's a moon uh, you will not notice you know there is an element and it's actually the border uh, it's actually the shadow of it uh, but uh, let's for now you know let's have it black and let's let it be red um, and now um, th that's a moon and now we will try to control the moon somehow with an input um, let's say input uh, hmm. we'll bind the value to uh, we don't have a you know a variable yet. so we'll have uh, what I want to show is you know in different days uh, moon looks different now that's exactly what I want to show so day we can have it as okay, let day equals zero okay uh, for now it's an integer um, so let's have it as zero for now and the value we should be binding to is day and once we close this we have it there uh, okay so uh, it has to have some kind of um, padding or margin from uh, 
from the input I'll give it like uh, 30 pixels maybe that way it's uh, properly have a distance from it and also it's not at the center of the page so what I will do is uh, I'll put this moon and the input inside another division uh, we can call this anything we'll call this world um, and yeah it's in the world now inside the world and I'll style the world to be uh, placing stuff properly so so here comes my favorite CSS um, yeah that's it we have it in the center now input um, as you know you can have any kind of input I mean uh, if you change the type uh, input uh, it's actually uh, you know uh, pretty fantastic if you uh, if you have tried input so you can have something like date and you can enter date here uh, so there is also something like date time local uh, which I have uh, recently used uh, where you can enter the time as well so in input is pretty fantastic I mean you you can have color where you can choose color here um, you can have um, uh, which we are gonna use is range where we are gonna change the days we'll you know we have bound this today and uh, days are changing from 0 to maybe 100 we are not seeing it so in order to see that we'll have a paragraph here and we'll have a day here so I'll try to keep this in a single line that way you know it's it's very readable uh, okay, sorry yeah so from 0 to 100 days but uh, we want to show the face in a month so we can apply a maximum of can have a maximum of 30 so it only goes till 30 days right in a month usually there are 30 days I mean <laughs> okay so yeah that, that should be that should do it and then um, okay so we have to bind this and we are showing it and then the moon phase should change right uh, so now we will uh, this uh, box shadow is the one that is causing it uh, we can actually um, move it uh, from 10 to maybe 20 and so on and so forth so to show the you know complete thing so I'll have 10 pixels for now and I'll just uh, get this to the you know uh, element itself so that we can uh, apply JavaScript there uh, this for this variable I'll have uh, for 10 I'll have day so that way you know it's it's uh, uh, it is bound now if I change it I mean I can see the moon uh, going out uh, it's uh, not completely you know uh, going out as we expect um, we can uh, maybe we may have to multiply with something uh, like uh, 10 let's see how, what happens uh, 10 is too much I mean it's, it's going all the way uh, let's try 5 yeah 5 seems to be okay let's try 4 Okay, four, maybe two is enough. No, three. Okay, yeah, that's that's it. Now we can change the colors here. Uh, background color, uh, we don't want it to be. Uh, we, we don't want a background color. Okay, that should be okay. And now we'll see the moon, and it's dark. Uh, actually moon won't be dark uh, moon will be like kind of kind of whitish not completely white but whitish we'll do the you know we'll see moon at dark so we'll make the world dark mm. color black yeah the world is dark and we see the moon coming out um, now the paragraph isn't visible um, Maybe we'll do P and color white. That's it. We see the days. So, I mean, this is not how it shows. I mean, usually on the 15th day, uh, moon usually shows full. And then it, it, it becomes, you know, uh, it keeps on going. Uh, it becomes like, you know, uh, 
it goes on to the same phase again so usually on the 15th day we see this no new moon and then uh, yeah so uh, what we can do is uh, we can have a maximum of 15 days a minimum of uh, minus 15 days uh, and then yeah we can have it on both sides there yeah this is how the moon usually will uh, show up uh, five, we may have to increase this let's make it four yeah four is not enough let's make it five five isn't uh, enough okay maybe 5.5 5. let's see okay uh, this is kind of fun uh, now you don't see two um, full moons but uh, let's keep that aside <laughs> on the zero day you see something like this on the first day second day and then this is full moon uh, similarly you know on the uh, on other days uh, after this full moon uh, you start to see this again uh, anyway so this is, this is kind of fun uh, these are lunar faces i think i think we have we can actually check lunar faces i mean how um, you know, how they look like uh, but uh, that should be enough I'll, I'll, I'll try to check uh, whether lunar faces are possible um, whether lunar faces are like you know uh, available okay yeah uh, here it is so on this first day yeah it's the you know it's barely visible and on the 15th day it's clearly visible on the 30th day again it won't be visible uh, but that's not how our um, app currently works um, yeah we may have to uh, change that a little bit it's kind of circular uh, we uh, will we'll try to do that maybe some other time but this is enough I mean uh, what you see here here is an app which shows moon faces um, without using much of JavaScript, I mean, what we have uh, JavaScript is just, um, what you, what we have written is one line, and uh, this is completely JavaScript, I mean, like, you know, if you look at the JS output, you'll see that elements and everything are created by uh, JavaScript, um, but uh, we did not write much, right, we just wrote one line, um, and we achieved this app, right? So uh, that's how easy it, you know, Svelte is. So I would uh, definitely uh, like you guys to try this out and uh, let me know if you liked it. Maybe, you know, create something uh, uh, different, maybe not the same thing, create something uh, unique, uh, fun, and uh, just uh, put the link in the comments so that I can see it. And also uh, there is a fun fact where, you know, these uh, numbers that we use today are made from these moon faces. So uh, this is uh, found in uh, uh, a language called Kannada, where uh, you uh, the first book that mentioned this uh, was found in Kannada. So you you cut the moon into halves and use that f to create these numbers. Um, even today, Kannada numer numerals are you know like this. Look like uh, they are uh, look like what you have below. Uh, originally, they were like this at the top. Yeah, that's a fun fact anyway so uh, that's it for uh, this one uh, let me know if you liked it uh, and leave a thumbs up and also subscribe because uh, more swelled videos are coming thanks guys bye